Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Shantae and I am the creator and owner of Just How I Plant It. I make custom planters. The link is in the description below, but you're probably here because you read the title and we are learning about the Hartley Philodendron. So I did a video about all my favorite low light, low maintenance, plant recommendations to pair with your Grow Girl planter. So whether you have a Grow Girl planter or you just want some plant recommendations that are great for beginners, great for plant parents that are just getting started and like low maintenance plants, don't have time for finicky plants, then you can check that video out below and I will be going through the care tips for all of those plants. But today we are talking about the Hartley Philodendron. So stay tuned and I will give you my favorite tips on this easy low maintenance house plant. All right, so we're gonna go over Hartley Philodendron care. These are very easy, low maintenance plants. Um, probably one of my favorites because of how low maintenance they are. They are fast growing and I don't have to hover over this plant. I don't have to worry about how much humidity it needs, how much light, how much water. It's so easy. So as far as humidity goes, the over, like natural, uh, the natural humidity in your home is probably just fine for this plant. Of course, like a lot of plants, the more humidity you give them, they will appreciate it. But this plant is not going to deteriorate like some other tropical plants because of the lack of humidity. Now, as far as uh, soil, you want to make sure it is in a well-draining soil because it does not like to uh, have wet roots. That leads to root rot. So a good way to um, make sure you are not uh, overwatering your plant, my favorite tip is to bottom water your plant. So bottom watering is just simply the um, art or the act of letting your plant uh, determine how much water it needs. So I just fill a container up with water. This water in here. I don't hardly have any water in here, y'all. Okay, so we're going to pretend it's more water than what it really is. Okay, and I didn't skip a step. But first thing you need to make sure you know if your plant is thirsty. So one way you can tell if your plant is thirsty is if it has curling leaves, which this one um, does not so it's probably good on water, but I just want to for demonstration purposes show you how to bottom water um, Another way you can tell is if it's kind of droopy like you can see this one here is Perky, so it is it is good. It doesn't need any water. Um, I have the bigger one is in uh, well-draining soil and then the smaller one I have in LECA and both are doing well so LECA is just a soilless medium that allows the plant to self water. So this one is empty on water. I probably need to refill the water, but um, so the LECA allows more air to get to the roots, reducing the amount of root rot. And why I initially transferred this plant into LECA is because of fungus gnats. I am tired of seeing fungus gnats. So I said, if I transfer, uh, a lot of my plants to LECA, no soil, no fungus gnats, right? That was before I <laughs> got over like 60 plants and LECA is not cheap. So uh, right now the bigger one is still in soil and I will probably leave it in soil um, and just work on other methods of eliminating fungus gnats. All right, so back to the watering. So you are looking for curling leaves um, or droopy leaves. And then another way is the finger method, you can put your finger in the soil. If your finger comes up with soil still on it, this one probably could use some water, then um, you don't need to water. But if it comes up pretty dry, it's probably time to water. If you're still uncertain whether or not you need to water your heart leaf philodendron, you can get you a handy dandy moisture meter. And I got this one from Amazon. And it will just let you know it has this one has three different um, functions, moisture, light and pH. I really only use it for moisture right now. But as you can see, it is saying that it is dry. So 
my finger did indicate cor correctly because when I pulled my finger out, it wasn't a lot of soil on there. And of course, right now we are in the winter time. So in winter, you don't have to water as much, but I still feel like I'm watering my plants uh, pretty regularly, weekly. Um, but a, a way to tell that you're overwatering your plants is if you have yellowing leaves. Um, pretty much all plants will have yellowing leaves if you are giving them too much water. So as you can see, I am not overwatering my plant. Um, so I'm going to, we need to fill this up with more water since it appears that my plant is actually thirsty. And then I'll usually let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes, whenever I remember to come back. And then the plant absorbs all the moisture that it wants. Um, so this is good to make sure that you're not overwatering because it's not going to take up more than what it needs. All right, so as far as fertilizing, I just switched over to Liquid Dirt. And I've been using it for a few weeks, and I've noticed some improvements on some of my more difficult plants, like my uh, Alocasia Friedeck that keeps dying. It is now pushing out um, new leaves. Um, and so this is generally a fast grower, so I can't say whether or not uh, the Liquid Dirt is... I don't know, it just grows all the time. But um, so um, liquid dirt, you take a cap full of this and well, first you have to make a mix. And then after you make a mix, you take a cap full and you put it in a gallon of water and you water your plants with that. So I, every time I water, I am watering with uh, plant food. So let's talk about cost. The Hartley philodendron is very inexpensive. You can find them all the time at Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, they have the larger hanging plants like the one um, I showed you before. And this one I paid $16.98 for. And then the smaller ones that are like four inches, those ones are about $5. So they are fairly um, inexpensive and because they grow so quickly you can propagate them really easily and make more and more and more plants so it's a small investment and then you could just make however many pots you want let's talk propagation so to propagate this plant you just want to find a node and a node is where the stem separates um, you can see like the separation and then there's a leaf here. Can you see that? Right there. So you just want to cut wherever you see a node and you can propagate straight in soil. You can propagate in water. You can propagate with the um, plastic bag method and you can propagate like in a plastic container and you should see roots within like two to three weeks. That sums up this video about the Hartley philodendron care and the care tips. And um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. And uh, go ahead and follow me on all my social medias, Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, happy planting.